we're just wrapping up another unit and I just wanted to give you a little walk around to show you what we, uh, you know, these are the three bedroom units. We've never done one of these before. This is the first uh, time we did this. So uh, one of the things I, I wanted to recommend to you guys when you're first drywalling a double layer ceiling like this, this is double layer five eights. A lot of this drywall you see is five eights, okay? Um, but you want, what I did with this ceiling because I didn't know the layout is I kind of figured it out. Uh, I did the whole first layer, right? And then I was like, oh, you know what? I can do this on the second layer and uh, eliminate two joints. So that's what you do, right? You just figure it out. Uh, this ceiling is gorgeous. It turned out really well. You know, I love it. I love this stuff. So there is, there's two less joints uh, than when I first started. But yeah, I wanted to give you guys a little walk around. The, there's new stuff like the P-Stacks here are new. Um, we're pre-cutting all the windows and doors now. But look at all the little pieces. Look at all the doors and angles and like, look at this stuff. Like there's returns everywhere. Um, these are very complicated to drywall. Every single sheet you touch, you need to cut in some way. Uh, there's no gravy sheets, zero gravy sheets. There's 130, 140 sheets in this unit and not a single one is a gravy piece. Every single one has to be cut. So it's very, very difficult. Uh, but this stuff makes you a better drywaller. If you guys have any questions on how to do this sort of thing, let me know. Uh, join us on the live stream. We can, I'll draw you diagrams. And um, I'll, uh, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments and I'll get right back to you guys. All right, guys, back with another video. Um, yeah, so I know I kind of did a walkthrough video with you guys before, but uh, some recent things came up, and I was like, you know what? Damn, I got to do another one, and I'm going to do a comparison. If you guys stay tuned, uh, right after I show you this unit here that uh, Big A and I did, uh, I'm going to show you uh, the unit another person did and how different ours are, okay, and the, the big failure of that unit. Um, I wanted to kind of... You know, just show you guys the differences of good drywalling, bad drywalling, okay? And kind of show you what the other guys do around the jobs uh, compared to what we do. Okay, so at the very, very end of the video, even after I show you the bad unit, I'm going to show you how the other guys leave their units. And they're not that bad, okay? There is just, there was a really, really bad crew who did some really crappy work. And um, so I'm going to show you one of their units. Uh, they have lots of units I could have shown you, but um, look how clean it is, right? I want you guys to think about this. When you go into a store and buy something, how do you, how are you going to spend your money, right? Are you going to buy something that is dirty and messy and broken? No, you're going to buy something that's packaged and clean. And that's just like any trade. When you're delivering a product to the person that you, who is paying you, it should be beautiful. It should be clean and looking great. You know, do your job properly. There's a lot going on in this unit, right? Um, this is a three bedroom unit. This is a great example of excellent drywall. We actually have completed this whole side. So we've done, we did uh, four units. So one on every floor in this side. And uh, we hadn't had to go back for basically anything, nothing. A couple of uh, doors I need to shave back a little bit, uh, some screw checking, but that's it. No overcut boxes, no nothing, right? Uh, there's delivery damage, which I will talk about a little bit later. But uh, wait, wait do you see um, uh, the other unit? It's insane, guys. So we've done a lot of these units. Now, it, we have minimized the joints. The, the bevel runs, the butt joints, we have minimized these. We have perfected these units so that uh, we have minimal, minimal bevel and butt joints, right? Ah, <laughs> right on, man. Well, eyeball drywall couldn't be better said. The This unit is just the first unit that this crew did. The second unit they did, they had 14 overcut boxes. That's insane. You're allowed five per unit, and then they start charging you $25 after five, right? So 14 cut boxes. So it's, what's 25 times six, okay? Like, that's 150 bucks. Boom, right off the top That the, because of repair work, because the boxes are blown. 
Uh, th th this guy um, just doesn't care. He he's quick and he has green guys and he's not paying attention and um, just very 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 sloppy work. But yeah, look at the screw mess. Look at this mess. Uh, the 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 problem with having guys like this uh, is he needs to learn more from a journeyman. Like he needs to spend more time learning uh, from a journeyman before he starts running crews. You know, he's a young guy and he's trying to run younger guys on on a crew. It just doesn't work, right? Uh, think about this. We actually got here after it was already cleaned out by the laborer. Uh, it was already fire tape, so we're not seeing a lot of the stuff, right? But yeah, number seven plug just in this unit, right? Um, I think this unit here, there was three overcuts, uh, so that's over five, right? So that was a $75 back charge. And then the next unit is $150 back charge. I've never been once back charged in my entire career. Never been back charged one time, you know? There's never been a situation where I haven't been able to go back and fix what I, I had messed up and uh, learn from it. You know, I go fix it for free. Right now, I don't make the mistakes, right? I do everything good right the first time. So we, like, yeah, you could, you see the difference between my units and these units for sure, right? I don't have to say it. It's uh, quite something. Uh, let me see if I, hopefully I don't, uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, I've seen these guys like put bevels and outside corners and you got to keep your screws away from your plugs, okay? Away from the boxes. The, those bottom screws look there, they shouldn't be in there. Like this guy's stabbing the wall trying to find the stud. <laughs> yeah, that's insane, man. It's insane. Just not taking your time. Not thinking it through, not taking your time, you know, check your screws. You got to have to constantly be changing your screw depth. And when you're in the corners, whether it's a bevel corner in, in the inside corner or a cut on the inside corner, the screw depth will be different. You know, first layer, second layer, depths are going to be different. Like in the bevel, in the field, depths are going to be different, right? So watch your screw depth. Don't go too far. Don't break the paper. And, um but make sure they're also not above the paper so that the tools are broken, right? Big big deal is in the corners. You gotta make sure your screws are sunk properly in the corners. All of these boxes can be avoided. All these blown boxes can be avoided easily just by taking your time. Just gotta take your time. Don't try to be a speedster. That's, these guys are seriously just trying to be really, really fast. That's all they're doing is being fast, not taking their time to do it properly. And it looks like shit and they're paying for it. You know, like a hundred. So uh, that is two hundred and twenty-five dollars in back charges just in two units. Like, holy cow, right? Like, how do you justify that? That's a lot of hours. When you all you have to do is slow down a few seconds here or there, and I'm literally talking seconds, seconds, few seconds slowing down here and there, and you're saving hundreds of dollars, right? So. But yeah, like dudes, when you're doing uh, sheets underneath the windows and around the windows, just with a pencil, lightly draw on the the frame there where the studs are. You know, those that can easily be wiped off with a hand. You know, I use a I use a marker sometimes, and I mark the floor uh, or the po the poly that's on the floor, or um, and I mark the pen with a pencil on the frame. Uh, and also mark the studs on the ceiling. Uh, a lot of the times on the window walls, there's no top plate, right? So you need to mark where all the studs are. But <clears throat> yeah, guys, like it's this just, man, could you imagine? Uh, I went in and saw their last couple of units and they're really bad as well. Um, and yeah, like the cleanliness, right? You, you got to be just, yeah, you know, you need to do, you, can, you have to do a better job than this. Um, this crew is very uh, on thin ice, right? you know, like they might not be able to come back. Uh, they have one more chance to try to do a unit properly, and that's that. Yeah, remember how we do, eh? Quality. You know, taking, having pride in your work, 
keeping your unit clean, doing a, the doing a good job. Like look at the difference. You can just tell like the screws are proper. Um, the you know like there's no like the only broken sheets from us are because of delivery damage. That's the only time you'll see broken sheets from us is delivery damage. You can see on the ceiling there, there's a board that was broken. We've had a lot a lot of delivery damage in this in this building. You need to be on those guys, man. What they're doing is they're they're peace workers too. So they're slamming the board down, slamming it down. This is just after I've left the unit, by the way, too, right? This is not after a laborer or anything has cleaned it. I do a a thorough, thorough job cleaning. I clean before, during, and after. Okay, my units are mint, beautiful. There's see, there's another broken corner. That one there actually wasn't because of delivery. That one there was an electrician's fault. They the electricians in this building are totally screwing us. The boxes are way too low. We have to pre-cut uh, every box in the first layer in the ceiling. Okay, that is totally insane. We should be able to put the board up and router it out really quick. But no, now we have to pre-cut all the first layer. And even after that, when we put the second layer on, it's really hard. The box, the board is like bulging down, you know. Uh, but anyways, all the trades on this job are just, you know, we're all being rushed. I think that, um, yeah, you know, and then of course the drywallers are the ones in the end dealing with all the bullshit, right? So, but yeah, these are the other guys. Uh, not too bad. Uh, all that I've really noticed with these guys is um, extra joints where they don't have to be. Uh, they don't. They don't know a couple of tricks like we do. When you're doing, like, say, a closet or something, you can't get the board in. You just back cut it and then fold the thing over. Instead, they're doing two laydowns. You know, so then there's a bevel joint in the room, right? So just little things like that. Uh, but good, good. Not like the other guys, the other crew, the first crew that I showed you guys. Not like that at all. Um, the, like these guys are fast, fast too, right? Like the joints there are too close. Um, there's ways to really, really, um, uh, just, you know, <clears throat> this is actually another unit done by that guy, right? I actually went into this unit and, and checked out the review, like the, when it was all cleaned out and stuff like that. And there was, a, there was 14 overcut boxes, uh, in this unit, all the the sprinklers were too big. Um, like, yeah, it was just wow. I, oh man, I couldn't believe it, dudes. I couldn't believe it. So, um, that's why you gotta watch your coffee yeah. on site. It gets better at coffee. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I need a see like a joint right there in the closet. Yeah, a joint there in the closet, the, those things. And the joint by the doorway as well. If it's a under 48 in a doorway, you can do a stand-up, right? And get rid of that butt joint. So you, instead of doing the laydowns, right? So, but overall, not too bad, not too bad. But you see right there too in the P-stack, joints, two joints there, right? Uh, in a joint at the bottom, right? You, I, I don't have any of those joints in ours, so... Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Remember to subscribe and uh, hit that bell notification icon so you don't miss when I go live. And we'll see you on the next one, guys. Peace. And uh, no eyeball drywall. <laughs> Love you guys. Bye.